Hello, this is Greg Brown, the superintendent of Abilene Schools USD number 435. Welcome to my weekly update. If you have questions about anything you see here today, I want to invite you to contact me by emailing gbrown at abilene-schools.org. Again, gbrown at abilene-schools.org. I would like to begin this presentation with some information that is not all about the coronavirus pandemic, but has all of us living a much different life than we were just a few weeks ago. You should have received a census packet in the mail about a month ago. I want to encourage you to complete the census and send it back in. You can also complete the census online at 2020census.gov. As you can see here, the census matters to our community. April 1st was the target date, but you are still able to submit a report. Dickinson County and our surrounding neighbors have all completed about 50% of the possible responses, which is a higher rate than many of the other counties in the state of Kansas. Senator Jerry Moran shared in his email this week how if only 1% of the Kansas population is uncounted, the state could miss over $6 billion in federal allocations during the next 10 years. Again, you may still complete the census, the coronavirus pandemic has caused the government to continue accepting responses through October. I mentioned in an earlier update how my wife and I try to track the number of new cases of coronavirus from New York, New Jersey, California, and Kansas. We have missed a day or two once in a while, but we still like to see that growth rate coming down. Here in Kansas this week, there was quite a spike in the new cases in Ford County. Here in Dickinson County, we have been fortunate to still have only one confirmed. There have been 90 tests. I want to thank you for following the social distancing guidelines that have kept Dickinson County healthy. You have probably heard how the effects to prevent the spread of coronavirus across the country have had a negative effect on the economy. Kansas is no exception. The Kansas Consensus Revenue Projections were announced early this week and the state's revenue is estimated to be reduced by a total of over $1.2 billion between now and November. This is an obvious concern for schools because over 50% of the state's budget goes to K-12 education. Kansas will receive federal relief funds, but the law prevents Governor Kelly and the legislative branch to use these relief funds to supplant the state's budget. The Kansas Constitution prevents the government from operating with a, de a budget deficit, which is a really good thing. The federal relief funds are needed to help prevent a budgetary crash. I would like to invite you to contact our senators and congressmen to encourage them to revisit how the relief funds might be used in Kansas to provide our state with the relief that is truly needed. I again want to thank the families here in Abilene USD 435 for working so well with your children as we've worked through the continuous learning platform. The participation rate we've had among our students has been remarkable. This speaks very highly of the support our students have at home. If you face any challenges as we finish up our last month of school, please don't hesitate to email or call the teacher or administrator. We are all working hard to support the learning of each of our students. Again, if you have any questions or concerns that I can help you with, don't hesitate to contact me via email or call me on my cell phone and that is 785 223-1972. Again, my cell number is 785-223-1972, and you have a great weekend.